watching KXAN Austin News at 10. Well, after all the flooding, now the cleanup. A wedding dress, appliances, prescription medication, just some of the things turning up along the banks of the Guadalupe River after Wednesday's flood. The hard part, finding the owners. KXAN's Aaron Cargyle is live in New Braunfels tonight to begin our continuing coverage. Aaron. Well, good evening, Leslie. Residents' belongings are still scattered up and down the shoreline here tonight. Take the items wrapped around this pole, for example. You've got what looks like a vacuum tube all twisted up, somebody's seat cushion, and even a large piece of linoleum ripped right off somebody's floor. All of these items will eventually end up in a dumpster, but some here lost and found some pretty sentimental pieces of their lives. This is our drywall. This is my uh, my sink right here. Our foosball table from the game room. My my lava lamp. Nathan Cumberland has been dragging damp furniture out of his family's riverfront home all day. The 18-year-old didn't have time to get much before the water was waist deep Wednesday morning. I went and I grabbed some my wallet and so, uh, iPod and some other things, you know, just bare essentials. And Trucks and cars swept out by the strong current are now scattered across his neighborhood. Items that can't be replaced, like this wedding dress, were found floating downriver in a watertight container. It was, it was floating in behind our house in this box, and it was completely dry. Ads are also turning up on Craigslist. Someone swept 15 miles downstream on the Guadalupe, survived, but couldn't hold on to her dog. She's hoping for one more miracle to find Missy. Sonny and Joanne Hansen loaded up what's left of their lives on a small trailer. The Roaring River wiped away their RV park. They're all material possessions. I mean, you know, sure, there's a lot of memories. Thankfully, we will be able to remember the memories. They're now realizing what's important. You see these things on TV all the time, and you, you can't help but feel heartache for the people. <laughs> but when it happens to you, there's nothing you can do. We're alive. Thank you for that. As they pull away with everything they own, the next step will be finding a new place to call home. Now, the Red Cross has set up two shelters here for flood victims. If you would like to make a donation specifically to their work here, you can do that through their San Antonio chapter. Reporting live in New Braunfels tonight, Aaron Cargyle, KXAN Austin News.